back to my channel. It has been a while. Spring break has sprung over at my house and there has been very limited time for me to film videos as I'm sure you are all well aware. But I finally had time to sit down and share with you all a fun little indie nail polish collaboration box that is super cute and is just perfect for the season. This is the spring seasonal box that is a collaboration between four independent nail polish creators. We've got Turtle Tootsies, Caloris to Carol, Fair Maiden Polish, and Anchor and Heart Lacquer. So these four creators come together and they've made this adorable, seasonally, seasonally appropriate spring box that will be going on sale tomorrow, April 1st, on the Turtle Tootsies website. And in this box you are getting four full-size nail polish bottles from these indie sellers that have perfect spring appropriate colors that just really get you excited for warmer weather. I was contacted by Chrissy who is the creator of Turtles Tootsies. I believe she's the one that hosts the uh, seasonal box like sale sales and whatnot and she contacted me asking if I would be willing to review the seasonal box for you all and I of course said yes. So thank you so much to Chrissy and the other nail polish creators in this quarter's seasonal box. I'm just so excited to share these polishes with you guys because I am a seasonal wearer. That is exactly what this box is all about and these polishes are divine. The first polish I'm going to share with you is the contribution from Turtle Tootsie Polishes. This was my first experience actually using Turtle Tootsie's polish and I gotta tell you guys it's pretty exciting. The polish is called Twinkling Cherry Blossoms and it is a gorgeously cute baby pink cream that's got tons of like some multi chrome flakies that are in various sizes so it's not just all big or all little it's a nice blending of the two there's also some hollow in here that gives you little pops of rainbow and it's just precious I really do love this color I think it's so flattering really really cute very sophisticated and dainty and just fun for this time of year in the first coat it was it seemed a little bit sheer to me but I feel like that's just because of the color we're dealing with a very sheer very light color so the first coat seemed a little bit sheer but it was totally fine it just needs to be built up a little bit, which is exactly what happens in the second coat. The second coat, it's completely opaque. It dries really, really quickly, which I was impressed with. And when it's dried, it stays natural to the color you see in the bottle. It was super glossy all on its own. It didn't seem like it needed a top coat, but I have habits and it's hard for me to break those habits. So I put a top coat on it anyway. But in all honesty, it was pretty glossy and super shiny all on its own. I really do like this polish. I think it's so cute. Really, really fun for the spring and just spot on for this time of the year. Next, we have the contribution from Caloris de Carol, which is what I'm wearing on my nails right now. It is called Live Love Bloom. It is a very stunning, in your face, super intense grass green polish that is pumped full of a linear holographic. There are also some scattered hollow in here as well. And there's like some gold micro flakiness happening in here that gives it just this luster and this shine that comes deep within this polish. I feel like this polish is so incredibly sparkly and shiny. Obviously we're in the spring, we're getting lots of rain, we're getting lots of clouds, and the sun rarely makes an appearance, yet this polish still is stunning even in low light. You still get that hollow coming through, you still get this gold shimmer that is absolutely stunning. This is a really great polish and I love the way it looks on the nails. The formula on this one was absolutely amazing. Caloris de Carol always, always impresses me with her formulas. They're very pigmented, super, super easy to work with. The first coat of this one was so incredibly pigmented. You got tons of color payoff, tons of this glitter, tons of the hollow. However, when it did dry down, I noticed there were some bald patches. So I went ahead and did a second coat. It just fills in the gaps that you may have had from the first coat. Live Love Bloom also has a fantastic natural finish. I found it to be almost high gloss, the natural finish all on its own, which is really nice because it, it is kind of one of these out the door kind of colors. You can just put on two quick coats and you're good to go. However, I did go ahead and put on a glossy topper because like I said, I have habits that are harder to break. Plus, putting on a top coat does protect your manicure and does make it last a little bit longer in the long run. So, it, it's okay. Next, we have the contribution from Anchor and Heart Lacquer. This is, is it spring yet? And I was not too keen on this at first because it, on first appearance, it's a gray polish. And of course, I'm like, ugh, gray. I don't want to wear gray. It's springtime. But on closer inspection, this polish 
is really pretty. <laughs> like it is super, super pretty because we do have this really light pastel gray. So it's not like super, super dark. It's not super, super saturated. It's definitely kind of like a soft bunny gray, but then hidden inside this gray, there's a linear holographic. So we're already pretty excited. There's also like some larger glitter chunks in here. And there's like a little bit of like a purpley kind of pinky shimmer, depending on the light and depending on where you're looking at it. It could look pink, it could look purple, but either way, there's like this kind of warm, pinky purplish magenta happiness that is running through this gray cream that just works so nicely. It was almost completely opaque in one. Like it was just so, so close to being opaque. But once I dried, I did notice it got a little bit patchy. And so I went ahead and did a second coat, which really isn't that big of a deal because the formula is so smooth and it's so buttery and so easy to apply that it really was just a joy to work with. So I wasn't that mad that I had to do a second coat. For me, this is a solid two coater polish. I feel like regardless of your application style, you really don't need more than two with this polish. The natural finish on this one wasn't quite shiny enough, so I added a topper to it just to really enhance the shine, to bring out the shimmer, and to just make that hollow come screaming through, and it's totally worth it. And the last polish in the spring seasonal box is from Fair Maiden. This is called The Sweetest Spring, and it is just so gorgeous. <laughs> it is a very intense orchid purple, which is like my favorite shade of purple. This very intense orchid purple is pumped full of holographic goodness. So you see little pops of the rainbow all over the place. There are some flakies in here that have kind of a purpley, hollowy goodness going on. So you can see flash, you can see the rainbow shifts through the flakies, but they also have this kind of purpley magenta feel because they're in this purple base. It works, it works and I love it. Now the formula on this one was so good. It was absolutely, Fantastic. It was almost completely fully opaque in one coat. Just like with the anchor and heart, it was so close, so close to being opaque. But just like with anchor and heart, some nails were completely good. Others needed a little bit more polish in certain areas where it kind of got thinned out a little bit. So I went ahead and did a second coat, but like, just like with anchor and heart, the formula is such a dream to work with. It's really not that big of a deal. This one also had kind of like a satiny finish, so it's not super, super glossy. So I went ahead and put a glossy topper on it because I just love high gloss nails. And this looked so good with a super high gloss top coat. I just think it looks gorgeous. It's such a stunning in your, in your face intense purple that can really transition nicely from spring into the summer as well because it's so intense and just high voltage and I just love it. I absolutely love this one. And that is it. Those are the four polishes in this quarter's seasonal box which is so cute, guys. Like, I just, I love it. I am very much a seasonal nail polish wearer, as you all know. I just love wearing appropriate colors during the appropriate part of the season. It just makes me happy. And I was so excited to get this box to review for you guys because this is exactly what I like to do. I like to wear seasonal polishes during the right seasons, and this box is perfect for that. I thought the color selection was great. I think the formulas are fantastic, and I'm just super, super excited about it. So down below, I will have all the information regarding the seasonal box and where you can pick it up and where you can find more swatches of it. I know there are some of you out there that are that are seasonal polish wearers just like myself, so let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this box. I feel like this is spot on for spring, and I'm so excited, and I cannot wait for warmer weather because it's been a long winter. It's been a very long winter. As usual, I'm dying to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section down below. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!